Figures suggest that one in every 8,000 operations worldwide result in patients leaving a hospital with a surgical artifact still inside them. The Star use case in Munich is developing an RFID tracking system to monitor the whereabouts of surgical towels during an operation. Instances of towels being left inside the body carries great risk. And someone who has experienced this is local resident Caroline. Nach ungefähr acht bis neun Monate habe ich Schmerzen gekriegt, schlimme Schmerzen, Bauchschmerzen. Almost a year after giving birth to her son by cesarean section, Caroline was returned to theatre at the Technical University Hospital of Munich for further investigations. Bis es dann wirklich fast ein Jahr danach so weit war, dass ich ein Volumen gehabt habe, wie fast im neunten Monat schwanger, also so richtig aufgebläht und mit stechenden Schmerzen. The result was a 30 by 30 centimeter surgical towel that had been left inside her after the operation. This was very, very Niederschmetterung. As part of the Five Star program of work, Dr. Armin Schneider and the team are taking the technologies we use across other sectors and exploring how they can assist with this problem. In particular, the use of RFID tagging. <laughs> We are here developing new technologies for surgery and gastrointestinal medicine to reduce surgical trauma, future surgical techniques, but also we are monitoring surgical towels with RFID tags to be sure that after the surgery all of the towels are out of the abdomen. So here we have the surgical towels with an RFID tag inside and this tag has its unique number and though we are able to follow each towel precisely um, in the surgical operating room. Here we have the RFID antenna. The antenna is connected directly to a RFID reading device which is managed by the software. And we are now able to count all the towels with our software. Here we have the number and the serial numbers of each RFID tag and now we can follow the tag to the abdomen and the way to the basket. So and now you can see we have five towels. Now I'm removing one towel. The software recognizes it. There's one missing. I will place it now in the abdomen and you can see on the soft there is one towel in the abdomen and if we remove it and throw it directly in the basket that means it is used and it is finished we can do the cross check one two three four same number as on the software at present the task falls to the surgical team to keep track on the items being used we count everything before the operation begins. One, two, three, four, five. We count everything which comes in during the operation. One, two, three, four. And we count at the end. On the floor, on a tissue, we position five to five. So that everybody in the whole theater sees immediately, oh, there is something missing. And if we miss a towel, that is horrible. Nobody leaves the operating room theater. It is after hours of operation. We are tired. We can't leave. We have to find that towel. So what we would like to have is something independent from human being weakness. To find something who counts for us, who detects everything we have maybe forgotten or not seen or not counted properly. When moved into the live environment, the tagging system will track and count the towels alongside the counting carried out by the surgical team. One antenna will be placed on the Mayo stand, recording the number of unused and clean towels. The second is placed under the patient, recording the number of towels in use in the body. And a third is located in the wastebasket, recording the number of discarded towels. All three antennas will then work together to transmit the vital data back to the receiver, which in turn displays on the computer screen that the surgical team can read. Working alongside the medical team are Siemens, who are developing the technology and the exploitation plan.
Uh, these chips are sewed in here into the towel. I have opened one for you, so that's an original one we use here. That's a small chip uh, embedded into some ceramic to make them hot enough to stay all the cleaning. But nevertheless, they, they work in that environment with good reading range and a very good detection rate. Firestar aims to develop a method that will enable these products to be exploited right across Europe. Within FSTAR we, we have two roles. The first is more a technical role, so uh, getting all the technical basics uh, together to make things happen. And the second is uh, giving our advice uh, to exploitation, to how, how uh, we handle these uh, issues to make products out of it. Currently we are more uh, focusing on how we introduce all uh, these features into some software technology stacks. So how uh, we first uh, ensure privacy of the patient data, how we ensure uh, on the other side all the information that's needed uh, for, for other software things uh, is available. Uh, get these big pictures working. So that's definitely an area where we can work together very fruitfully. So the integration of the technology into the surgical system will not only make the environment safer for the patient, but more reassuring for the surgical team involved. We know that RFID is in principle very good to really the cell control, the object control, to better. Very good angenommen wird is natürlich from our assistance. Denn das ist endlich ein Weg, dieses Damoklesschwert, das sehr praktisch über jede Operation hängt, sicherer abzuwehren als bisher. Und stellen Sie sich mal vor, ein Objekt wird vermisst. Was meinen Sie, was das für eine Unruhe im OP stiftet? Wie viel zusätzliche Arbeit, bis es gefunden ist? Denn es muss gefunden werden. Im schlimmsten Fall muss der Patient sogar durchleuchtet werden. Wenn das alles vermieden werden könnte, wäre das für alle eine große Arbeitserleichterung. Thank you.